I had no idea these creatures existed until I got into photography. At first I thought it was an ant carrying material back to its colony, but it turns out I was very wrong. This is called an aphid lion or an aphid wolf, and it's also called by more humorous names such as garbage bug, junk bug, or trash bug. More specifically, it's a lacewing larva. These are voracious predators and highly successful too. They eat soft-bodied invertebrates, and they're most known for eating aphids, of course. They can eat 100 aphids per week. This makes them quite beneficial insects. As an alternative to pesticides, some gardeners will buy lacewing eggs so that when they hatch, they'll prey on garden pests. Gardeners will also plant certain flowers that attract adults, such as sunflowers. Now why is this aphid lion all covered in debris? That's one of the reasons it's so successful. Many aphids provide honeydew secretions as food to ant colonies, and therefore ants will protect aphids like cattle. The aphid lion covers itself in light materials such as lichen or leaves, and sometimes it'll cover itself with the bodies of its prey. Dressed in lightweight material, insect bodies, and whatever else it can find, the undercover agent enters the colony mostly unnoticed. If it gets noticed by the guardian ants, it becomes very still and waits until the danger has passed. It then proceeds to swipe some aphids. This tiny bug is a clever aphid wolf in sheep's clothing. If you are wondering how it eats, you'll notice this bug has pincers called maxillae. It uses these to inject venom into prey, and then it proceeds to drain its victim's body fluids. Pretty creepy, but I guess everyone's gotta eat. The adult lacewing is a bit different. The majority eat nectar, honeydew, and pollen, although some may be carnivorous. Adults will often lay eggs near aphids so that their babies can have food right away. Some of you might be wondering if this larva can bite, and if this venom is harmful to humans. They can bite, but there have been only a few serious reactions. If I had to guess, these were probably cases where the individuals were allergic to the venom. The venom is meant for its prey, not for humans, so it won't affect us very much. Nevertheless, these insects are considered friends because of their huge appetite for common pests. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more peeks at wildlife.